Hello, Ray Wheatley for Fight News. I'm here with uh, former three-time world title challenger, Troy Waters. How are you, Troy? Good, thank you, Ray. How are you, champion? Very good, Troy. Good to see you again, buddy. Troy, it's been nine months, mate. Uh, just wanna, could you give us an update on, on your health, mate, and uh, the myeloid uh, leukaemia that you suffered? Mate, you certainly can. Everything's um, in remission at the moment, so um, everything's going well. Um, obviously, I'm up and down all the time with, uh, with the health issues, but... Um, Mate, we're still here and everything's going strong. You know, we, we went through, you know, four or five lots of chemo to uh, get me back into remission. Mm -hmm. uh, but here we are, mate, and, uh, mate, everything's going well, no complaints. So 18 months in remission? Uh, it's about, yeah, just 16, 16 or 18 months in remission. Mm -hmm. um, the second time. Yeah. Uh, because obviously with 2014 I was first diagnosed. Yeah, yeah. And then um, a year later we came back, we fell out of remission. You had the stem cell treatment, right? Yeah, the stem cell treatment, yeah. With Dean Waters, yep, your brother? Yeah, my brother, yes. And yeah. um, we got us back into remission. Um, so now we're, we're sitting pretty at... Uh, 18 months in remission. Yeah, about 16 to 18 months in remission, and um, you know, everything's going well. That's good, mate. No now, complaints. There was um, a fundraiser just recently? There certainly was, mate, yeah, there certainly was. Could you give me details about it? Also, Matthew Reid, the former heavyweight, uh, Australian heavyweight contender. Matthew Reid, who's now a marathon runner. He had something to do with uh, he raising it, some mate, funds. Look, Matthew ran from um, the ANZ Stadium in Sydney to the Central Coast uh, Stadium here on the Central Coast, uh, raising money, you know, for myself, which uh, has, has been a, a blessing to me, and a great benefit to uh, to myself and the family. So, um, you know, to Matthew and, and everybody else involved, mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. It's a, yeah. He's done an awesome job. And look, he's still going. He's still doing stuff, um, helping me out. So, uh, yeah. you know, Matthew's been um, a great sparring partner of mine yeah. over the years. He, yeah. You know, what you done a lot of sparring with him? Lots of sparring. Because what Matthew would do is he'd, um, he'd look at my opponent. Copy their style. He'd copy their style. Yeah. And he'd move around and, and he'd fight like He was them. a clever boxer, wasn't he? He's clever a boxer. big guy. A big, big, strong guy. So yeah. I would unload on him and yeah. uh, didn't, didn't sort of bother him too much. So, um, mm. mate, he's been a, um, you know... Over my career and, and now, he stuck, been, he stuck with you. Mate, friends, you know, friend for life. Now, uh, three time world champion Jeff Fennick is now helping with a, another uh, fundraiser coming up three weeks' time. Certainly is, yeah. Mediterranean um, House. Mediterranean House, yes. Um, so, all that'll be on Facebook somewhere? Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to That's look it how up. people could find out about for it? Sure. Okay, yeah, mate. Jeff's been amazing. Like, he's done some great things in the past, not just with the memorabilia and um, also his time and effort. Yeah, um, just been fantastic, and uh, you know, in conjunction with Matthew Reed, um, this next one that's coming up, uh, English Coast, uh, it will be a success, which yeah. uh, I'm sure it will be. Troy, you, you're looking, you're looking good, mate. You're looking uh, what? What? How's your weight now? About seventy six kilos. I don't worry about my weight, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not boxing. You can't make light middle anyway. No, middle anyway. Well, anyway. I reckon I'll never go. With it. <laughs> but no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna even try. But uh, look, the weight's good. Everything's good, mate. Uh, I'm feeling good, and. Um, you know, the main thing is, look, the leukemia is in remission. It, it's yeah. staying there, and, uh, you know, I'm feeling good about it. Obviously, I have days where I'm up and down. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, but, uh, mate, we're still here, so uh, we're happy and we're healthy. Some of the guys that asked me to say hello to you, mate, uh, Jeff Harding, the former WBC light heavyweight champion, who I know you work with in, um, yeah, overseas in France, yeah, we, we, worked he, together. took me over to, uh, to France with him when he was fighting uh, David Vetter, defending his world title. That's so, right. Um, and um, I was lucky enough to pick up a fight over there. Okay. Against a guy named Jose Oshaw. Oh, good, uh, good. From you Colombia. Fought, you fought on the card, eh? Yes, we fought on the undercard, and um, we got the win, luckily. So, um, you know, just just been great. I mean, we did some good sparring. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was good for him. He was good for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, he speaks very highly of Troy. Love more than I do. Former IBF like Wallaway champ says hello and gives you all his best. Thanks, Love more. Thank you. Good boy. Uh, Love more. He's uh, now a leading Sydney solicitor. Uh, former lightweight, light middleweight uh, world title contender, Mark Jansen, wishes you all the best, mate. Watches your interviews. And, that. Thank you, Mark. Thinks, we thinks we were very in highly. One, at one stage. He's uh, nearly boxed, yeah. Yeah, you, but it never ever happened, so yeah. um, I'm glad it didn't. Yeah, yeah. Good he's a good so. guy too, mate, and champion, he's, he's mate. now a uh, trainer of a uh, world champ. Uh, Paul Nassari, the promoter, who yeah. uh, recently uh, bumped into Terry Norris at a uh, convention, a boxing convention, and Terry Norris... Uh, he gave you all his best, apparently. Uh, yeah, Paul and Sarah said. That. Yeah, I did speak to Paul. Or Paul texted me, and um, you know, yeah. it's nice to hear. You know, fighters, mate, we all stick together. Yeah, yeah of you know, course, Terry, mate. Terry was a great it's all business while you're in the ring. Of course, it is. Uh, Grant Lacusa, uh everyone knows Grantley, the great uh, boxing historian, and uh, Chris Carmen, who was a boxing matchmaker. Yep. I wishes you all the best. Now, Troy, I'd like to go back and just talk about your world title fights. Your first world title fight, 1989. Gianfranco Rossi. 
Um, he was a very successful champion, had quite a few successful defences. Well, I think if you look into his record, Ray's um, at junior middleweight, my weight. Yeah. He has the most title defences of any champion. That's right. Yeah, yeah, he was a so, um, extremely... Um, very awkward. That's you're very awkward fighter, very yeah, awkward. yeah. Very, very yeah. awkward. I was lucky to be there in your corner that night and... Um, Mate, you, weren't you were the aggressor. You weren't lucky to be there, Ray. You were there for a reason. Right? We needed Thank you, brother. We needed you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't, couldn't the fight couldn't go on there without me. Of course. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jim Franco Rossi, not a power hitter, but uh, could fight very well on the back move. Yeah, it was just very awkward. Um, yeah, hard to catch movement, up with. Very yeah. fit. You, know, you put the pressure on him every round. Always throwing a lot of punches, but yeah, yeah. Just very awkward style. Yeah. I was only young. Yeah, that's uh, right. That was your first fight, shot. So, yeah. Um, you know, yeah. I can't complain, mate. We did all right. You've done well, mate. And then <clears throat> four years later, in America, you fought Terry Norris in that uh, classic bout. You had Terry Norris down in uh, round two, which was named Ring Magazine's Round of the Year. Marty Denkin, the referee, uh, told me two years ago it was one of the most exciting fights he ever refereed. Yeah, and well, I spoke to Marty Denkin um, a couple of years later in uh, Vegas yep. when I was over there fighting um, Simon Brown. And yep. he said, like... He couldn't stop the fight at any stage because he wasn't sure who was going to win. He yeah. said, it was so back and forth. That's right. He said, yeah, both guys were getting hurt. Both yeah. guys were, in, you know. In, it's a seesaw bout. It was a seesaw bout. And um, as he said, he didn't know who was going to win. Yeah, it was yeah. one of those bouts. He got a few cuts and then they stopped it. Got a few cuts and they stopped the fight. Yeah. But um, mate, it, it's a fight that I can always look back on and think, you know. Oh, yeah. I fought the best. You did. You, you know, certainly and, um, did, Might mate. not have beat the best, but I fought no, the best. No, no, mate. You, um, and then, and you've. I think it was only seven months later you fought for the title again, the WBC light middleweight title again, Simon Brown, and very close fight. Close, uh, majority decision loss. Um, yeah. Simon was a very awkward fighter. Yeah. Um, you know, if, I do believe if, if I'd have put a little bit more pressure on him, thrown a few more punches, I would have won the fight. Yeah. Um, obviously, if the fight was in Australia, it would have been different. I probably would have won it. But yeah. um, you know, Simon was a great champion. Yeah, yeah, very of course. good boxer, very yeah. uh, you know, good good puncher as well. So um, yeah. came up from as being a welterweight champion, winning the junior middleweight title. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so had yeah, the pedigree. Yeah, no, had the pedigree. He was a great fighter. Mm. And then you fought the former uh, welterweight champ in, in Australia, the Mexican Jorge Vargas. Very tough fight. Tough fight. That was um, that was um, one of my comeback fights after a broken jaw. Yeah. Um, Jorge Varca is um, you know, he's a tough guy. I knocked him down, I think, three times. Mm. But he kept getting back he's up. tough, Mexican. Tough as. So, um, you know, he was, uh, he was an awkward guy, but yeah. um, I think his, his heart... He came was, to fight. He I think came his to heart fight. was what made him a champion. Yeah, yeah. Never say, never say die never attitude. Never say die. He always kept getting up and he, he kept fighting. You, you, in 1996, you fought Lonnie Beasley uh, at a 27-3-2 and two record when he came to Australia. Uh, tell me about your bout with Lonnie Beasley. Yeah, Lonnie Beasley, just one of those fighters that um, even great world champions, he's made them look bad. Yeah. He's just very awkward, awkward, awkward very fighter. gangly, awkward, um, threw punches from every angle. Like, yeah. wasn't a big puncher, Yeah, but um, just very awkward and, and made it very difficult for me. Yeah, yeah. We, got the, we got the decision win, but um, yeah, it was a very tough fight. Yeah. Uh, one of your fights in the States, uh, you fought the Olympic gold medalist, Robert Wangila. Can you tell me about that fight? Yeah, well, that was um, 1988, I think. Uh, against Robert Wongiela yeah. in the uh, Hollywood Forum in California. Uh, mm. He was coming off, you know, obviously the Olympic gold medalist. Yeah, uh, yeah. Had, uh, he had a 21-3 and three record when you fought him. At that time, yeah. Yeah. Um, and most of his wins were always by knockout. Yeah. So, you know, he's a big puncher, but, you know, we were lucky enough to get the win. I met him in the Golden Gloves gym. He was trained by Cornelius Bazer Edwards at oh, that there time. You go. Yeah. Another great champion. And the Fennick was there at the time. Jeff Fennick was there at the time training for the first Azuma Nelson fight. Okay. Mm. But um, he was certainly, uh, he was impressive in training. Yeah, no, he was a good fighter. I mean, I think just, you know, obviously my defence, he wasn't catching with a lot of clean shots. You stopped that. him in six rounds, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then just a lot of pressure and. Um, we got the win. Another good American fighter that came to Australia and, and boxed you was Floyd Williams. Came here with a 19-2 and one record. Uh, you stopped him in six rounds too. Yes. Yeah, Tell that, me about think, Floyd Williams. Floyd Williams is a really good, smooth boxer. Didn't have a lot of power, but um, ability-wise, he was very, very good. Uh, very fit. Took a good mm. shot. Yep. Uh, but I think you know, over the rounds, um, I think my pressure was just a little bit too much for him, and um, you know, we got the stoppage. Too strong. As I say, too strong. In the sixth round. Now, I just want to talk about some of your sparring partners. Um, you sparred some of the great ones from Australia. Tony Mundine. Tony Mundine, yeah. I mean, like I fought Tony Mundine. I sparred Tony Mundine. Um, I was very early on in my professional career. Um, Tony was 
well into his 40s. Yeah. And let me tell you, he still gave me a good hard spar. Yeah. He, he was a tough old coot. Yeah. He sparred um, Dean as well, right? Uh, I sparred uh, Dean and Guy, maybe, yeah. Yeah. I've seen him spar Guy. Okay. So I'm yeah, not sure about Dean. I'm not 100% sure about yeah. Dean. But, yeah, no, Tony Mundine, one of our greatest, mate. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was an awesome fighter. And Costa Zoo. You were sparring Costa Zoo quite yeah, often, Yeah, we did right? plenty of sparring with Costa. I mean, um, you know, we both ran at the same time, both, um, you know, yeah. Uh, doing a bit in the uh, was he uh, world champ at the, the time? Uh, he, he just prior and after he'd run it, yes. Um, so um, did lots of sparring with Kosha. Good strong boy. He's got his son Very boxing strong. at the moment. Yeah, Timothy, and hopefully, uh, hopefully he does well. I know he won his first pro fight, so uh, good luck to him. Yeah, he's uh, had two now. He's had two now. Two pro so, fights. So fingers crossed. Uh, and he's getting ready to fight again. I think April tenth. Okay, nice. April 10th. Well, um, good luck. Um, good opportunity. Yeah, yeah, he looks good. He looks. He's the dead spit of costume and facial uh, likeness. Yeah. Very, very similar. Well, if he, if, if he, if he if punches he gets, half he, as good as his dad, he'll be all right. He'll be good. Uh, now, another sp sparring partner was uh, Kirkland Lang, right? Kirkland Lang, good old Kirkland. London, England, right? Yeah. The King's Cross gym. That's the one. One of the funniest sparring yeah. sessions I've ever had in my life. I, I, I now, he beat Roberto Duran, right? He did, yeah. yeah. I, I, I sparred probably four or five times with um, Kirkland in a couple of weeks leading up to um, going over to Italy to fight and uh, Kirk was it was awkward it was, yeah, it was yeah, all, all over, over the place, place but yeah. uh, you know, he'd hold his hands down here and yeah, be waving yeah, him around yeah, but yeah. he was a good fighter very um, very awkward very quick yeah yeah uh, you were too strong for all the guys there in England at the funny. time mate you sparred all those guys but yeah you came out on top Okay, Troy, good to see you in good spirits, mate, and I hope everything just keeps going the same it's going. Mate, I appreciate it, Ray, and um, you know, just to everyone, Jeff, uh, Matt Reed, uh, everyone who's helping out with these fundraisers, I do appreciate it, and um, you know, it means the world to me, and thank you very much. We all love you, Troy. Thanks, guys, appreciate it. All the best, son.